Hello everybody, my name is Bodens, and welcome to Finding Fortune Episode 2 on Season 2. Just before we get into the episode, if you're looking to buy or sell any coins, then make sure to check out FIFA Coin Traders, their link is down below. They're a fast, reliable and trustworthy source for coins, so check them out, their link is down below. Anyway, the first episode went down absolutely awesome. The, sec the series coming back was just a phenomenal thing for you all, I think, and you just loved it. So we got 300 likes in the first hour, which is insane. That's more likes than most of my videos get. And also we got 1,000 likes overall, so thank you so much for that. If this episode could get 200 likes, in an hour that would be immense and overall a 500 like target would be absolutely awesome if you could hit that of course guys remember this episode oh it's like two episodes a week maybe so you know I can't do a daily video or anything on this but of course if the support is here then it will be coming out weekly so hopefully you can support it um, as you can see here though I did pick up a um, 4312 formation card for 300 coins on a buy now this was when the double chance happy hour came out so I just went on the web app and just saw, saw what I could find it took me half an hour to find a deal and that was the only one I could find so 300 coins I bought it for and we can hopefully sort of about 800 coins and also most of the bronze players are sold but I'm still going to be trying to sell them currently because I nearly, really need the coins. Anyway we're going to start the series off properly by buying our first um, gold player and it is a CDM at Toyota. This one is in a 442 formation so for 1.2k we picked him up for, sorry if you can hear the dog in the background it still exists, um, but 2.4k we're going to try and sell them all for. A little spoiler he does take a while to sell. Um, Yanga and Biwa is next, 500 coins we paid for him and a 433. That um, 500 coin price tag would actually have been good and uh, never mind his formation but considering he's in a 4-3-3 this means we can probably get about a thousand coins off him at least and that is with tax I'm um, included in that so 1.8k we're going to try and sell him on for um, another bronze player did sell here though for 200 coins um, all these bronze players I don't know the names of so you're just going to have to guess the names and um, we're going to spend 750 coins on a Menez I don't think we ever picked up a Menez in the previous on any trading series we've done um, so that is pretty strange to get one of these but we got him in a right forward convert position and he does sell really really fast considering we put him up for 1,500 coins um, so not not a too bad um, profit on him. And here you go, another um, bronze player did sell that Lindsay guy. Yanga MB was sold for 1.7k and Menes sold for 1.5k. So we're up to 3.5k with the Teote still selling. And we're going to go buy a Sessignon. This one is on a bid for 650 coins. Basically, I'm just using the force method um, in this episode um, with different leagues just through the gold players because this is the best way to start, in my opinion. It's really easy to just trade and not much knowledge is needed. 650 coins are paid for him. Hoping to sell him for 1,800 coins. That's over 1,000 coins of profit, which is a legendary. Vidal is next over 1.3k and you're thinking wow that's uh, pretty expensive for him. However he's converted down to a CM, or sorry up to a CM that is silly of me to say that, <laughs> but up to a CM um, so his stats are awesome. So we're going to try and sell for 2.8k. That's the most profit so far. And he does sell really, really fast. And he's already sold. So absolutely awesome on him. I think that's about 1.5k profit, which is awesome. And as you can see here, we're looking at a Palacio in a 4 one 2 2 And I was just checking his right mid price, seeing what he went for. And he went for about 8k. And then a right forward, he goes for about 7.5k. So I'm going to pick this one up for 3.3k that's been on the market not long. Um, I was going to maybe wait for the, um, or I couldn't even wait for the bid, sorry. So I had to buy him now and to bin him at 3.3k. As you can see, I'm going to try and put him up for 7 2k that is a fantastic buy and I think I can lower him even to 5k if he doesn't sell at these prices I can still lower him to 5k and make a k profit or more than a k profit so a fantastic buy on him and he is a fantastic player that I think you should check out anyway that another bronze player did sell and that is it for this episode sorry that I haven't got more footage for you but um, trading with um, less than or just like 2.5k to start with is really really difficult you can see I've got all these bids up lined up but I just didn't have enough coins to really um, challenge anybody for the bids so it's a real shame but um, next episode we will hopefully have more coins to spend and hopefully more profit to earn so guys thank you all for watching if you have enjoyed please do drop a like over 500 will be awesome make sure to support this series it's really awesome when you do and um, of course guys if you're new already subscribe for more check out fever coin traders link down below and as always i hope you have a great day